Tabriz is a great and noble city. Men of Tabriz get their living by trade and handicrafts, weaving many kinds of beautiful and valuable stuffs of silk and gold. Here in the Carpet Bazaar of Tabriz, you can see that nothing much has really changed. The big profits are still here as they were back then. Take this book and have it read, and here you will find all the greatest marvels and the great diversities. That's nice. Oh, this is going to show us our exact route. That's fantastic. Well, that's great. Thank you very much, Luca. I'll be, I'll be reading welcome. this along the Silk Road. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Thanks, Luca. Bye-bye. It's really amazing you know, how, how young Marco Polo was when he set off. He was only about 17 years old. Came back and wrote this incredible book. It inspired everyone from, you know, Columbus took a copy of Marco Polo's travels with him. It's, it's an amazing impact. This one. There are over a hundred different versions of Marco Polo's book. It would have been copied by hand at that time. So a lot of the spellings, a lot of the, the, the root information is slightly different with each version. So trying to match up the name that Marco Polo saw and the modern name on the map, that, that can be pretty tricky. Yeah, it's, it's amazing to be actually right in the spot where Marco Polo would have stood, rested for the night, and should I go left, should I go right? One of those pivotal decisions for him and carried on that way. So it's, yeah, another place where you can really connect, connect to Marco Polo's trip. And the scene hasn't changed, I mean, since, since he was there, definitely. It's right here. They have an enormous number of idols, both small and great, certain of the latter being a good ten paces in stature. And the great idols of which I speak lie at length. I'm pretty sure this is the one he saw. This is the one, one of the few cases where Marco Polo wasn't actually exaggerating. Inside the city there is a lake which has a compass of some 30 miles and all around it are erected beautiful palaces and mansions of the richest and most exquisite structure that you can imagine. It's amazing how little has changed in, in 800 years almost. His journey wasn't necessarily unique but the book that he wrote, the information that he put down for subsequent generations, that really changed you know, the course of exploration and geography and it, it had so much information that it, it took you know, hundreds of years for Europe to kind of gradually take it all in and, and accept that that was, that was the face of, of Asia that they didn't know about.